Hello. Everything should be well today for you. I feel such a great, strong energy. Uh, if you do feel residual negative energy, um, do a ritual to release that negative energy. This is a new month. We are in March. This is Thursday, the 2nd of March. A beautiful March for you. It's going to be wonderful. Let's begin with a Taurus reading. I've had messages since I woke up for Taurus. And just a reminder, I don't do personal readings, but I am considering, um, I'm looking into uh, something I can do for you regarding personal readings. This fool just jumped out. I'm going to put this right here. Taurus, what's going on? Please. Reading for Taurus. 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 Very good. Here we go. Taurus. Taurus, come through. What say you? Oh, four of pentacles. Got you. The Cancerian energy of the chariot. Aries energy of the emperor. Beautiful. Nine of cups. In the middle of your reading, the magician. This is beautiful. What a great energy. Seven of swords. Sneaky Pete. Now we have five of wands. Always not, you know, it's been that the seven swords and five of wands have been near each other in your readings for the last couple weeks now. The queen of pentacles right underneath the magician and the chariot and judgment. The elevation of this and ascension of the feelings here. So we have framing and informing the energy of our read is the beautiful, the wonderful the, the spontaneous fool. And when I tell you that someone does feel foolish, um, you can believe me. Someone feels as if um, something about time, time has um, time has escaped them somehow. We're going to do some clarifications for sure. Clarifications for Taurus. Clarifications for Taurus. One more time. Absolutely. Thank you. Clarifications for Taurus. What a beautiful energy you have, Taurus. Come through. So we have the Four of Pentacles. Um, everyone has their own interpretation to tarot, and it really is dependent on the cards around it and the energy you feel. I am feeling someone is keeping the thoughts of you close to their heart. You are always on their mind. Here's the song, You Are Always On My Mind, um, Willie Nelson. Um, listen to the lyrics. This pertains to you in this connection. Um, in a past reading, I think it was yesterday or perhaps the day before, um, it was the Seven of Pentacles in reverse that someone gave. They weren't trying to replace Taurus. Let me be specific. They were not trying to place Taurus. You are always number one. You are always on their mind. However, they didn't feel up to par. Let's go further. Yeah, they felt... Here is the Five of Pentacles, right? And they felt not just left out in the cold, but not even invited, not even part of the peripheral energy. It was a great pain to them. This is um, heartache. Part of the heartache I want you to realize is them missing you. And thinking about the time that has 
um, pass without you being near them. They want to offer you. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, sustainability. Uh, the strength of safety. Um, they really want to be all of that. That protects love. That um, helps a love last for decades. How beautiful. But you see what, what the mindset was, right? It's not that you were going to be replaced, Taurus. There is no replacement for you. And that's part of the heartache. It's, I, I don't, okay, I, I'm getting a visual. I'll just tell you. And this is a um, just a, a strange and weak analogy. Say you have your mind set for some great chicken and waffles. Don't ask me why I came up with this. It, it, it's just there. And you go to the restaurant that you know you have had chicken and waffles, and this is where you go for your chicken and waffles. Guess what? They're out of chicken. They're out of waffles. So you have yourself some blueberry pancakes. Um, is it sufficient? Nearly, but it's not chicken and waffles. And that's what they're missing. So if you get it, you get it. If you don't, I'm sorry. And I don't mean to be rude. It's just no one can be you. No one, they aren't you. They could be presented with the, you know, Cleopatra at their feet. That's great, but Cleopatra isn't you. They want you. This is the energy that you're feeling right now. You might feel um, almost electric with excitement. You might feel, um, I don't drink it, but if, um, if you had like three Red Bulls, I hope you don't. But if you had three Red Bulls, you'd feel like almost wired. This is the feeling you might feel on occasion. You will try to parse this out as logic. Like, oh, well, I got some good sleep or, you know, I'm, I'm getting more sunlight. Yes, that's it's true. That's fine. But it's not. You can't logic this energy away. You're stepping into a higher level of energy. You are taking in those downloads and you're waking refreshed. So um, accept the gift from the universe of your high intuition. Accept your gifts, your, um, your birthright of your great intuition. Many of you are already people who read tarot cards or have that um, connection with spirituality. That's beautiful, but expect that to increase. Um, have you been waiting for a long time? Yes, we're going to put that right next to the Five of Pentacles because it's this feeling of long suffering. Um, they call it the wounded warrior pose. Now, if you think of the word pose, it's almost dramatic. It's almost, um, I'm sorry, I got the Taurus thing going. <coughs> we'll call you Taurus, are you okay? Okay. It's almost dramatic. It's almost like, look at me. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> can you let me talk? <laughs> Someone really doesn't want me to, to talk. Okay, there we go. So it's almost like a theatrical, I'm here, I'm long suffering. I, um, I want you to know that this has not been easy for me. Someone is growing their spine though. It's, um, they gain that great spine of steel, that great, Emperor Aries energy. I'm coming forth. You gotta let me speak. I'm not gonna stop. I'm coming forth. I know what I want. I know how to get it. I know who to um, to ask for help from. That great Aries energy. What is it doing? It is now tempering and um, putting in place these feelings of low self-esteem. This Eeyore complex that someone has going on, it is coming to an end. Um, and what's replacing it? Pure love. Someone does feel like they have been betrayed, but that's almost um, self-fulfilling prophecies of doom. Um, like this expectation, like nothing goes well in my life. I've had a very difficult life and I don't expect good things to happen. Mm. I see Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. 
Um, does someone have a message? They really do. They really do. They have a message. A message is coming through. It's going to be um, a message of uh, hope. Something hopeful is happening. I'm going to get something to drink. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. What is it that someone has something to say, but it's almost as if um, they they fight themselves. They, they, they want to say something, and then they, it's almost like they lose a, a bit of willpower. They lose confidence. Is that it? They, they understand about this wish fulfillment. It's taken a lot for them to get there. It's as if they had to clean out their, their mind and then to go into Four of Swords energy in order to come forward and say, listen, I understand the two of us, we're, we're meant to be together. This is soulmate energy, one soul to another. I know you, I recognize you. Perhaps you've met this person prior, maybe in your childhood, or you just recognize from another lifetime that you are each other's wish fulfillment. But do recognize the um, also this feeling of having to um, recharge your batteries. It's taken a lot. Someone has really gone through their paces, their... Um, I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do that. It's, it's been quite a process. And also the manifestation. How beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune is turning. These manifestations are coming true. Someone has had to defend their posture in this connection. And it's taken a lot of patience. A lot of patience. How beautiful. <coughs> okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to continue. You can keep on choking. It almost feels like there's smoke going into my nose. And no, I'm not having a stroke. Very funny. Um, it's just someone doesn't want me to say anymore. So seven of swords. Someone act, actually might act a little um, nervous nervous and a little clumsy because they realize you are nine of pentacles the card of increase the pre-empress card they they are looking back and seeing I, do i have their attention they are waiting to give you the world and it's taken a lot of strength for them to get this far folks i tell you someone just doesn't want me to tell their story someone is just um it's very difficult to keep going but we're going to keep going Five of wands in reverse. Wands, not wands. Someone's saying W-A-N-D-S. Yes, I'm saying that, not wands. W, no, it's J-A-U-N-S. Wands. Wands, five of wands in reverse. Okay. So they've, they've been in conflict about how to get that message, that flirtatious message to you. They ha have... Okay, they're worried that you have options, Taurus. And someone from um, around their energy has been kind of in their ear about, well, Taurus has many things going on, so you know why should they wait for you? The Queen of Pentacles. She's going to make sure that everyone knows that um, oh, it's, it's such a loving and welcoming vibe that she has. It's almost like um, you're welcome. You're welcome to come in. You're welcome to have a conversation. Um, come in, make some tea or, or have some coffee. Someone is watching, though, just making sure that, uh, that you don't have a lot of um, things going on. They're making sure that, uh, <laughs> yeah, they realize that you have that great Leo energy of the sun. They're just making sure that you're not... 
connecting to someone else right now. They realize also that they have to begin to be fair with you. This is Six of Pentacles parity, giving you equal attention and affection. Oh my gosh. The last card in this row is judgment. When I say that this love is ascending, it is almost, okay, for, for many of you who thought this was dead and buried, it's done issue, it's second chances. I'm going to clarify with the Five of Swords, Five of Cups, <laughs> and Piscean. Yeah, someone has worries that you might hear, um, Things about them that they want to keep secret, but they want to tell you when they are ready to tell you and in their own words. They are saving the um, Two of Cups, which they believe you guys are the Two of Cups together. The Five of Swords in reverse, they are no longer wanting to... Um, there's a little bit of teasing. They, they're not going to... Why teasing? Someone might say something that sounds like a little teasing someone. It, it's a way, again, to get your attention. A way to get your attention. But they don't want to do that any longer. They don't want to take a chance of messing this up. They want to take a chance at taking having this leap of faith. How interesting. They don't want to take a chance of messing this up, but they do want to take a chance and have this leap of faith. Wow. Um, Ten of Pentacles underneath this. So much love, so much um, desire to speak. And yet, when I'm trying to tap into their energy of what they would say, it's almost as if they're blowing smoke up my nose. They they really don't want me to speak. Let's try to pull some messages here, though. Maybe we can do that. I'm sorry for the coughing, you guys. It's I'm sorry for that. I know. It's a trust thing. They really want to speak on, you know, they want to tell you in their own words. They don't want me to say, and I respect that. They want to say, I don't know why you care about me. And then they want to know, could we cuddle? That's very playful. We'll put that over here. Could we cuddle? I dream about you in 5D. I dream about you in 5D. We're going to put that by the Four of Swords. I need to grow up and I know this. Well, I mean, that's kind of, I don't want to say anything. I miss you and me. Okay, we'll put that by the Six of Cups. Taurus, forgive me for the coughing. Um, I'm sorry this was a little bit disjointed, but I think it's important to get, to tap into the energy as it comes forth. Oi, oi, oi. Why are they so reticent to, to want to open up their heart to, to their messages? Don't you think you'll feel better once you are able to speak your mind? Okay, Taurus. Love you bunches like bananas. Uh, again, sorry about the coughing. Thank you. Bye-bye.